It's 8 a.m. in the morning. Isn't that what a.m. means, fuckface? My eyes fill up with water. I'm watching the other woman staring at Ali Portman in an Andy Garcia stand-in. I'm almost crying. This movie is incredibly beautiful and depressing, and I am such a pussy. I guess it's true. You are what you eat. My day off from the day job, my belly is busy. I'm not sick, I don't have heartburn, but my belly is busy. It's busy because I scarfed down a half rack of ribs, four chicken wings, two beers, a pile of coleslaw, four celery sticks, five carrot sticks, half a mini roll, half a mini round loaf, a ramekin of honey barbecue sauce, all on account that we decided to grab dinner on a Monday night, and the restaurant chain that we chose closes at 11. We rolled in a little after 10. Very close girlfriend of my wife is in town for two nights, and her train up from New York State got delayed for drug sniffing dogs and exercise of search and seizure and law and order. America, land of the free, home of the brave, bullshit. Canada, glorious and free, glorious maybe. Free? Tell that to your fucking accountant. Canada's a socialist nightmare. If you don't believe me, you've never had Ontario Hydro shut down your work again. Or sat with a bleeding woman in a hospital waiting room for hours on end while snarky twat nurses roll their eyes and flip through magazines before you get your back up. Tell me to go to Russia, remember that I was born here, and the downside of democracy is that it allows peasants to tell you that you're full of shit, at least during business hours, which now thanks to the internet, it's all hours of the day, 24-7 billing, making a killing, not for me, yet. Last night while waiting at the Via Rail Station in Oakville, <laughs> Ontario, more like Joeville, am I right, Burlington? More like Turdlington. I thought there would be more characters and personalities. At the train station, having been a fan of both the Blues and Lil's Hobo, I was raised to believe that railway stations were teeming with characters. Fun fact, they're not. We sat sipping soda watching muted 24-hour Canadian propaganda news channel. Best closed captioning typo of the night? Ontario conservative. Corey Tim Haddock. His daughter was administered to the hospital for undisclosed reason. The typo, undies closed, as in her underwear was sealed shut, like she's marinating in her own poop, like <laughs> Normally I never watch 24-hour news channels. Why? Because they're fucking obnoxious. They praise corporations, they sneer at poverty, they worship military power, regardless of the validity of the mission. They try to inform you of a m with multiple levels of ticker tape minutia, the dumbing, dumbest, meaningless shit. But I'm in a train depot, so what am I going to do? I left my books and magazines in the car. Yes, I still buy magazines. Why? Because I don't want to take my laptop with me all the time. I stare like a jerk off at this 24-hour shit show, filling my sponge with ultra-critical facts like Anne Murray's birthday. The fact that Kid Rock is being named a good fellow by Detroit because he helped out a charity. I just got to see what Canada's new polymer bills look, <laughs> look like. Apparently one in every 50 bills are fake now. And in politicians, we're still 98% full of shit. The remaining 2% are slowing down our postal strike resolution. I want to love you guys, but I got no love for unions. Except for Duran Duran's Union of the Snake is on the prowl. Yeah, yeah. Felt good to drive a friend around Milton, show off all the new homes and businesses. It's nice to live in a town that's growing so quickly during a recession. It's not enough that somebody wins. Somebody else has to lose. If mankind is any kind of a legacy, it is that and little else.